Well, you asked for it. You guys wanted a tour of my house. So today, come on in. I'm going to take you on a tour of our house. It's not perfect. It's messy. There's scribbling on the walls, but um, yeah, come on in. First room we're going to show you, Dylan's room. <laughs> come on in. We have made one new addition to his room recently, and that is the mini trampoline. Because it's been, oh, it's quite good exercise. Um, because it's been raining so much, he hasn't been able to go outside and his frustrations have been just building up. So we got a little mini trampoline and he jumps on it for about 10 minutes before bed every night and it calms him down. The other thing we did buy him is a weighted blanket. I know I mentioned about weighted blankets before and how we didn't go for them because I didn't think they were that great, but I have found one that is pretty great. It's uh, called Calm Cub and it's just a nice material because the other ones were quite like a sleeping bag, which Dylan didn't like, and it does come with a different cover, but Dylan likes this one. So they're the two new additions to his room. So now we come back out here and we go into the living room. Everyone always laughs at me and says, how do I have a cream couch with three children? Do you know what? I had the two boys. It survived poo smearing incidents, which I'll talk about in the next episode. It survived Luca. Snotty nose is everything. I have Naya, my perfect baby girl who's going to do nothing. Of course, she's the one who scribbles all over it with pen. So um, it has been changed. But the good thing about having a lighter color couch is that you can actually wash it and bleach it my range of books up here, mainly like diet books and I love interiors, hence why I have books everywhere. I love this book. I've even got tabs, I'm such a nerd. My life, my former life before I was a mom. This is the office in here. This is where I get all my work done. That's where I message you all, sitting right there. In here is the kitchen. We have all our baking stuff over here. So Dylan likes to bake. And so we keep all that there. This is our calming space over here. It's probably my favorite corner in the whole kitchen. Uh, this is the dining room. This is Luca's wobble cushion that we have. It looks like it would really hurt, but it doesn't. You, you sit on it and the idea is for children, let's give your core strength, for children with ADHD or children who find it hard to sit still, these are really good for the classroom and we have it at the dinner table for obvious reasons because Luca likes to get up and we say he has ants in his pants. So that wobble cushion is there for Luca. Uh, yes, we have a running machine in our dining room. This, <laughs> okay, funny story. Uh, a friend gave that to me uh, to, because I couldn't get out of the house much, to try and get some exercise before the wedding last year. I think I used it like twice. Currently, it's a really dangerous slide inside. This is our station here. We have coloring pencils, which end up all over the wall. Um, painting, puzzles, kind of our sensory sensory area. Over here is our playroom. This is the really boring bits. I don't even know if on house doors do you show these bits, but look, behind the scenes, this is the laundry room. And uh, this is Dylan's bathroom in here. So, ta -da. <laughs> okay. Let's go upstairs. I went for the nautical theme with the rope, which Luca thinks is like a jungle gym. Okay. This used to be Naya Rose's bedroom, but we have an au pair now who helps me. And so she is now in that room, but I'm gonna show a few little clips from Naya Rose's room.
So yeah, that's what it used to look like. We're not gonna go in there now. Cause I think she's quite messy. Sorry, Nora. <laughs> this is now Luca and Naya's room. This used to be Dylan and Luca's room, but Dylan wanted his own space. So it's now a shared room between Luca and Naya. So again, it's not perfect. The blind is broken because Luca decided to pull it down. <laughs> everything in here is from the paints to everything was all done sensory friendly for Dylan and Luca. And then this is their bathroom in here. So the reason I have eucalyptus hanging in all of our showers is eucalyptus is really good for the lungs. And because of this whole coronavirus thing right now, I'm taking all precautions and using all the natural remedies that I know. To the party piece of our house, the kids' favorite rooms. It's the secret room. This is the secret room, and this room was designed for Dylan. It didn't cost very much. It was part of the attic that we got insulated, and we put some really nice sensory carpet in here. As, as you can see, it's for, made for kids. And we have his like um, Game Boy, Nintendo, all those game consoles up here. And this is where the kids have sleepovers. And yeah, it's a really, I love it up here. It's the quietest room in the house. We've got blackout blinds as well. And there's a cute little nook over there. So the last room in the house is my room. I love flowers. Flowers you probably see everywhere in my house because it's the one thing that I do for me. So this is my little, boudoir which you've seen probably many times on videos and this is where I sit and chat to you all and then yes we do have a bath in our bedroom which is kind of weird when I first came in and thought there's a bath in the bedroom but actually we created this window here there was no window here so we put the window in and we put the bath in and it's actually one of Dylan's favorite things to do um, especially if he's really anxious at night time I run him a really nice warm kind of hot bath with magnesium salts and lavender oil and he sits in there and he watches TV and I can leave him up here for an hour and get stuff done so it's a win-win this is my bathroom in here oh a few of you randomly have been asking what my skincare routine is it's actually not that great I I have rosacea so I use Neostrata the clarifying cleanser Again, eucalyptus in every shower in this house. Let's go look at the garden. I'm gonna show you Dylan's pride and joy, his, uh, his veggie garden. So we're growing some lavender, rosemary, mint. Dylan really likes the smell of them and I encourage him to get his hands into the dirt. It's really good for his sensory needs and to smell and touch and taste and how we can use them. And he's starting to ask me now how you use mint in different ways because I use the mint for my tea. So yeah, learning. He thinks it's gonna be done in a day. It's gonna be the longest 12 weeks ever until they're done. What are you doing? Are you jumping, jumping? No? So that's it, that's the back garden. Okay guys, hope you enjoyed the tour of our house and uh, we'll see you next week. <laughs> How can we forget you? You're like the main character of this story. Come on guys, tea time!